Jay and Amy, good morning to you both. I spoke with a local musician who is connected to both the Jewish and Arab communities by his mother and father. And now he's using his unique background to showcase a newly recorded song that might help bridge the conversation for many of us. On one end, the conversation, the concern, the argument, the stance is the hostages right. being held by Hamas. Right. On the other side, the thousands and thousands of Palestinians who have been killed, including children. How do you bring the two sides together to have a civil conversation, at least here in the United States? I'm not for this world much longer. The answer to that question for this conversation is music. Born in the serene landscape of Vermont and raised in the cultural melting pot of Ann Arbor, Michigan, the journey of Nadim Azam has been interesting. His background, a Jewish American mother who is a retired professor with Ukrainian roots, and his father, an Egyptian Palestinian and a longtime human rights activist. You know, something I can't escape from, <laughs> but I realize I'm, I'm born in a position to be an example of peace. The musician says he has worked to maintain balance in his life to be fair and honest. With you coming from both worlds, seeking peace, speaking on peace, do you still receive any backlash? There's always people who want to pick a side and who are angry and upset, and rightfully so. You know, if you, I'm not, I live in America. I, I'm not having my kids bombed and then having someone come to me and tell me, be peaceful. Mm. You know, I'm not I'm not sitting in a situation without human rights being told to wait. And I'm not in the position of an Israeli who most of them disagree with their government and are sitting there also held hostage by this situation and are, are you know taught the things they're taught and educated the way they're educated and and have this like resentment and fear. His latest Brothers song, Letters from Dear Yazine, touching on the events of 1948. Because of the war and all the everything getting lost in battle, the Palestinians never got their side of the deal. They, they never got a state, they never got rights, they never got any of the things that were promised to them. They were basically just well, you lost the war now. You have no home. You have no home. Another piece of history regarding Dir Yazin, the village near Jerusalem that witnessed the horrors of conflict. More than 100 Palestinian villagers, including women and children, killed during a time of war. This isn't new. A lot of us are, have woken up to this situation, but nothing started on October 7th. This has been round for round for at least a century. The current conflict and tragedy the world is witnessing served as his motivation in creating this song. From the Israeli perspective, they feel like they're defending themselves. They feel like they're surrounded by enemies. They feel like everyone hates them. I have, I have family on the other side, on my Jewish side, that like we have, I have family in mass graves in Ukraine, you know? They're, they're fleeing from real persecution. I have the benefit and the curse of not being able to pick a side. Therefore, Nadim is willing to share his candor during these times, attempting to highlight both point of views in a civil manner. Clearly, terminology matters with everything that's going on. Um, would you use the word genocide? Yeah. Or not, yes or no? Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to use the word genocide or ethnic cleansing. I think if we look at the technical definitions under uh, international law, it, it falls there. Uh, I understand the other argument that compared to other genocides where the goal is to eradicate a people entirely, maybe a lot of people in Israel feel this is not that. Um, but at the end of the day, I think we get lost in terminology. His lyrics resonate with a profound sense of empathy. I lost my mother and my father, my brothers and their daughters. Now everyone's gone and here I am praying in the dirt. His recent performance at the Michigan Music Video Awards receiving a standing ovation, winning the Audience Choice Award. It was the only time I played that song without crying. For me, it was the highlight of my life as, a, as an artist and a writer to say, I made a piece of art that's more important than myself. Breaking these chains. Hmm. 
Wow. Yes, yes. His music and his message are available at the website on your screen, nadimmusic.com, and across all social media platforms. Also, given the sensitive nature of this mm -hmm. conversation, this topic, we are posting the full interview on our website at fox2detroit.com. Isn't it wild? I mean, in, in every generation, no matter what's happening in the world, music is always a way to bridge yes. messaging to, to people mm -hmm. where they can understand. You know, it's been for, for back it's to universal. Vietnam, and it, it, always, and it helps yeah. people come together mm -hmm. in so many different ways. And, and this is such a complicated issue. Mm. Um, what an amazing young man mm -hmm. for for tackling, talking about it openly. Yes. Parents on both sides. Mm -hmm. You just imagine what he has had to come to terms with you know, and deal with Absolute, growing up. Absolutely, and what you really appreciate about his, t his tone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the tone in this conversation, in this ongoing discussion, is very complex. It goes back many, many years. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he added a, a calmer yeah. demeanor to the conversation. Yeah. So really appreciated that. Great singer, too. Great, yeah. Good, Good story. Yeah. We'll be right back.